Hello, this is Dr. Williams, and I'm going to give you a small tutorial on the NIST Atomic Spectral Database. We're going to be using this for the PCHEM lab this week, and once you make it to the website shown here, then follow along and get a Grotrian diagram for your atomic spectrum, and also look at the database of spectral lines. We're not interested in energy levels in this lab. We're doing spectroscopy, and we want to see the spectral lines. So the first thing you want to do is select the spectral lines. Here's the lines database form and for the sodium spectrum we'll type in NA. Now they do this a strange way in my opinion. It's using Roman numerals and instead of the charge on the atom it's just starting at a charge of zero. So neutral sodium atom is actually sodium Roman numeral one. So I put in a capital I. I'm interested in the spectral lines that are in the visible portion of the spectrum. So the lower wavelength will be 400 nanometers. We'll change the units to nanometers. And the upper limit will be 700 nanometers. I'd like to look at the Grotrian diagram first. So that it'll fit on the window, I'll choose the 800 by 640 size. And then say make Grotrian diagram. The NIST database page now appears with the Grotrian diagram. Please make special note of this table here in blue. It tells you how to use the Grotrian diagram, how to zoom in, how to filter out spectral lines, how to isolate particular levels, and to cycle through the, sp the spectral lines. We have a lot more information than we need. We're really interested in the visible portion of the spectrum. And you see the transitions shown here. I'm going to zoom in by clicking in the green area once there and again there. Then scrolling up with the scroll bar and clicking the button zoom. Then scrolling back down you see the Grotrian diagram. One can look at this transition here by clicking it and you see the energy levels. The ground state is given an energy of zero. The upper level is shown here as 16,973 wave numbers. The term symbols are shown and the electron configuration of the valence electrons. This is the information on the lines. The observed wavelength is 5,889 angstroms. In nanometers that's 589 nanometers. We can see what this spectral line is by clicking on it. This one, you can cycle through these using the space bar. So let's click here. That's the 589 nanometers and 588 nanometers. So that's the doublet that we see in the visible spectrum. So hitting the space bar repeatedly, we can cycle through all of the different allowed transitions. And that's how you retrieve a Grotrian diagram, and that's how you interpret it and use it to assign the various lines in your spectrum to particular energy levels shown up here in the right-hand corner.